Hey everyone, ran back over to my dad's. We are working on the pipes here today. He got the tubes all built for this side of the header, but as you guys can see, he's got to work that out like we talked about in the last video with the flanges. So uh, a big hammer, whatever that is, and uh, some heat in this vise. So I'm gonna work on heating it while he more or less tries to work the material out. Uh, as you can see, he got it close, but there's still a bunch that it's got to go. So I'm gonna. <laughs> it's pretty solid. So it's solid. A little bit of heat. Hopefully, it'll soften it up, and we can get it worked into the corners. And then you can finish welding these up, and then move on to the other side. This is real tiny. We're doing a bind this. Yep. Yeah. So it's a real tiny uh, piece. So we just heat a real little area of it, not keep a hold of the pipe. We're gonna get most of it. So go ahead and start working it right now. Half of it right there, it's working out pretty decent. It's it. So, before and after, right there, start working this far side now. Alright, so there's one, two, pretty much done. Looks pretty decent. I'll pull it out here and we'll take a look at it. Otherwise, not too bad, huh? No, that Worked looks pretty out. good. Yep. Give you just a little bit so when you kind of weld it, it'll. The weld, I mean, you're not going to get those real tight corners perfect, but. No, that's pretty tight, though. Yeah, no, I mean, it, there's no. No gap on the bottom side for sure. So once that gets kind of welded around there, it'll be, I mean, that's pretty dang close. You guys can see like some of this edge works a little bit better because the way it came in, but that side's got to stretch a little more because of the angle that it's going out. But otherwise. Heck, I think that looks good. Yeah. Looks almost like a factory Cobra. Probably close to how they made it too back in the day. Oh, they had some sort of a little press, but nah. I think no, they, they just had some sort of deal. They, they did exactly like what we're doing. Mm -hmm. They probably just had a sharp or tool that makes more of an edge. Kind of yeah, well, I think it. they had a T, like I was telling you. Yeah. A T made tool, so it's consistent. Almost it's go right into the corner. Sit just... right on this here flange, so see it'll be the same distance in. Yeah. So it'll regulate how deep you are to when it when it pushes this out. But that's a little bit smoother transition anyway. So yeah. It's pretty good. I'll have to clean up the sides from our... Yeah, from the vise a little from bit. From the vise. Peckers that up. A little bit of file work. Won't fix. Yep. Do some file work. So clean up. That's your friend right there. <laughs> oh, on to number two. Round two rectangular. Yeah. Not too bad. You want to work? That one probably could have used a little bit more. Corner, right pulled there. Away a little bit. Those look really good. Uh huh. It's not, not too bad. I think I can. Might be able to make that. Well, yeah. it's really, I mean, that was, is that, that is the one that had a big gap too. So uh -huh. it's on the back side of the tube. It doesn't work as, like, relax out as much as the, the inside. So. Number three, we've been working the biggest gap first and then move on to the second and switch over to the other side, come across and finish this one off. And we'll, uh, we'll be almost there with these. So this hasn't been too bad, kind of a cool way to show you guys how you can manipulate metal. Uh, this kind of takes that header building that we did in the other video on the S10 to the next step. And if you're having to do something more custom like this to make it fit a header flange, that's a little more difficult than just a round tube and a round hole. Number four is all done. Got them all, all good. So clean them up a little bit, and then you can weld them out. And then this head is pretty much done, right? <clears throat> yeah, I'll have to put my. Uh... Yeah, you gotta add the little tabs to tie on to the headers right here, and then or the collector, I guess you could say. 
Yes. So everything's built there. Come out tied to that. What's this get? Does this have little gaskets, or do you have to just I don't, silicone it or something? Who knows what they want? Yeah, I don't. They didn't bring me nothing, so they might put something. But if so, it's got a little bit of. We're after cut some paper gaskets for or something. I'll figure it out. But otherwise, that'll be one side, and then he can move on to the other side. So I'm sure I'll be back to work on that one. That side will probably be all done, installed, and then this side will get built. Remember that that back tube's gonna be a heck of a heck of a pain to build right there. All right, everyone. So that's it for this little fab video making a round tube square. So if you guys like these little fab videos, let us know in the comments below. So go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and share button. We'll see you in the next video.